In the introduction video, we have presented the basic information about the program, its interface and how to navigate inside working area. Next exercises will allow us to build a full-size geometric model of the structure. Let's start our work by checking the working units in which the model will be built. In the Backstage menu, in the Design File Settings tab, we can change the units in which we want to work. Before starting the construction of the model, the appropriate base of steel profiles should be selected. This can be done at the bottom of the Shapes window. After clicking on the left side, you will see the available profile databases. In the presented example of the warehouse, we will choose the European and British database of profiles. Before defining the geometry, we can create an outline of the structural axes of the model. In addition, on those axes, views will be generated automatically later when creating documentation. Now enter the dimensions of the structure as in the dialog box. The structural elements are defined in two stages. First the profile is selected and then one of the several available insertion methods. The columns are inserted using the definition options at the selected points but remember to specify the height of the endpoint. The settings are accepted by pressing the green button in the bottom left corner of the window. Roof beams can be placed using two points insertion method. Pressing right mouse button allows to change orientation of the member. Predefined structural axes also help to keep the profiles at the correct height and are an auxiliary axis for modeling. The position of all structural elements can be controlled through the copy or move options. This allows you to shorten the time and use objects with similar parameters. We can also divide our elements into fragments on the basis of which we will build connections. We can use temporary lines for this purpose. In the example below, we want our connection to be located 300 mm from the edge of the beam. 